Hello Newcastle Fans TV and welcome to the Euro 2016 last 16 draw, if you want to call it, or lineups or tournament table, how you ever want to look at it. We're just basically running you through a dead quick video of who versus who in the last 16 now that it's all been settled. So there's a upper section and a lower section or a left section or a right section, um, depending on how you look at it. So looking at, I'm going to call it the left section. Switzerland will play Poland. The winner of that in the quarterfinals will play the winner of Croatia versus Portugal. I think that's a nice game, Croatia versus Portugal. I can see Croatia winning that one. And then we've got Wales versus Northern Ireland, a British derby. So we're going to have at least one British side guaranteed to be in the last eight. So it'll be interesting to see if, uh, if Wales tactic, because Wales, you would think, are obviously the favourite in that game to go out and tack Northern Ireland. You would have thought so. And then at the bottom, you've got Hungary versus Belgium, which odds on favour you would expect Belgium to go through. Now, looking at all of those teams I've just mentioned, one of those has to reach the final. So you would have to say, you would have to put your money on Belgium, surely. And then the outsiders, Croatia for me. I don't mean Portugal, I don't. So you have to say Belgium, maybe the outsiders, Croatia for the final. Hmm. Let me know what you think in your comments down there below, who you think you're going to predict. Looking at the other side, oh, we've got some... We've got some big, big nations here. So at the top, we've got Germany versus Slovakia. So you would have thought that the Germans will overpower the Slovakians because they played four draw against England and got it. Italy versus Spain. <laughs> what a mammoth of a game that is. Italy versus Spain. Spain, the little techni technicians. Italy, the masters in defence. Who's going to come out on top of that one? I can't call it. I can't call it. Can you call it in the comments down there below? <laughs> And then there's some history here, France versus Ireland. Obviously, Ireland felt very, very aggrieved, which it were, because Thierry Henry came out and said that he did handball it in one of the playoff games many years ago at the Stade de France. So, France versus Ireland, and the winner will play the winner of England versus Iceland. So tasty, isn't it? You would have thought England would break down Iceland quite comfortably, but you know, Iceland have been phenomenal in qualifying and in this Euros. Let's just say out of those bot of those four games that you would say Italy would go through, let's just pick Spain, for example, France and England. Oh, that's a tasty four, isn't it? Germany, Spain, France and England, if going to court. So you would have to say, for me, I've put my money where my mouth is. I've got the tenor on France to win it from the start. I've still got that on. So I'm still sticking with France for the time being. Sorry, Irish fans, but I'm with France on this one. Let me know what you think of all who, who's, who's going to win it, who's going to get the semis, what do you make of both sides of the draw. Uh, let me know in your comment section there down below. Thanks for watching Newcastle Fans TV. I've been Lee, and I'll see you later.